Hi guys, it's Matt again um, with another Module 4 resources video. This video is for uh, employees of SF agencies, especially those mentees who have taken the training from Focus Forward. Um, you probably know that I'm a total sycophant for work right. Uh, I just love it. The, the activities are very contextualized and totally geared at, at task and essential skills. Um, work right is a series of in English, they have seven books. Um, today, we're gonna to focus on book four. Uh, book four is called Workplace Communications. Uh, it's mostly written workplace materials like notices and memos and, uh, and meeting materials. Um, we're gonna focus on the very first activity in the whole book today, which is a fire drill notice. Um, this is a really cool one to contextualize because you, it's easy to make it real. That's what I mean when I say contextualize is make it real and, and make it um, relevant to the learners uh, lives and fire drills exist everywhere. So that's an easy one. It's a short memo. Um, and I have some suggestions on how to do this simple activity. Um, as you can see, it, it follows uh, the same format of all of all work uh, work right materials there's a document which we have on the left and a worksheet which is on the right sometimes i don't even give the learners the worksheet we just do it orally kind of casually which is definitely what i would do with um learners who can't write or who can't read very well is i would focus on the document itself uh, this document or this activity is pretty much just reading text um, there's not really any other skills involved in it. Um, so the first question, number one, who should read the notice? Now, a lot of times notices or memos say who should read them. They say to, uh, and then the names or the departments or the jobs of the people who should read them. This one doesn't do that. So what I would do for that one is discuss if there's a fire drill in the building, who should know? Who should do it? Does everyone do it? Okay, so everyone in the building or maybe all employees or something like that, something that incorporates everyone. Um, on what date is the fire drill? So the, that question has no inference. It's pretty much written, we call that a match. It, that means it's right, right in the document itself. I'm going to underline it for you, 8.30 a.m. Oh, no, sorry, wrong question. <laughs> what date? October 30th. Okay, October 30th. That's a, that's a straight match. Um, so, write that. There's no year on purpose, so it's timeless. Um, now, if a client says Thursday or, or something like that, get them to focus that it says date, not day. So if they say Thursday, October 30th, that's fine because they have the October 30th. But Thursday is not the date, that's the day of the week. At what time will the drill be finished? So um, there's no mention of when it starts, but there is a mention of when it's finished. Uh, and that says right at the bottom, 8.30 a.m. So that's another question that has a a perfect match there's no inference needed now this question always um, has a lot of discussion it says number four what should employees do if they hear the fire alarm I, in every class I've ever had I've taught this 15 times everyone always says the wrong answer and the wrong answer is get out of the building um, that's a great opportunity to discuss. Well, if we have a fire drill here, is everyone just supposed to get out? And then usually people say, no, well, so-and-so has to do this and so-and-so has to do this. So sometimes people are responsible for, it could just be something simple like holding the doors open. Uh, it could be check. there could be someone who has to check all the bathrooms and the closets and side rooms. Um, someone could be responsible for taking attendance, someone could be responsible for opening all the windows, and someone might just have to be the last person out. Uh, so basically, you're not going to list all of those things, you're going to take it right out of the document. It says, comply, comply with fire procedures, and that covers everything. The 
fire procedures basically means whatever you're supposed to do in a fire or fire drill. So like I said, people have different jobs. Uh, and you can just, you can extend upon that greatly. You can find out uh, maybe your workplace has a health, joint health and safety committee, and maybe those people are responsible for certain things. So this is a good time to find that stuff out if you don't already know it. So when a work right activity has a vocabulary section, and there's a few in this book, um, I really like them. It's vocabulary and context. This isn't school, and we don't want a dictionary. We don't even really want a definition. What I would recommend for these activities is give a synonym in a different way to, to say the word, basically replace it with something else. Um, so what the best way to do that is look at, um, look at the words they're asking and, and find what they mean in the context of that document. So the first one is drill. So drill could mean a lot of things. It could be a tool, right? But in this uh, context, drill, please be, advi or be advised that we will be holding a fire drill. Drill basically means it's a practice. They could say pretend, anything that means the same, same thing as that. Advised. Be advised that we will be holding a fire drill. Advised basically means it's asking everyone to know or to be aware. Okay. Please know that we will be holding a fire drill or be aware that we will be holding a fire drill. Be advised is basically just a kind of a fancy way to say that. The next one, comply. Please comply with our fire procedures. Comply means, um, I would say, obey or follow. Even just do, do our fire procedures, okay? Do the thing you're supposed to do during that time. And finally, procedures. Procedures means um, follow our fire procedures. I would say it means orders or rules or something like that, maybe regulations, okay? And that's it, that's a short activity. Um, like I said, if, if you're working with clients with really low reading, I would ignore the page on the right, focus on the page on the left. You may be focusing on, on words or even just letters. Can they recognize that this is a time, 8.30 a.m., okay? Um, do they know the word fire, okay? Focus on words um, that are really important, maybe even just October 30th or October. Thirtieth. All right. Um, so I hope this was um, uh, good for you to know, and I will be back soon with some more uh, resource videos for for you. All right. Thanks. Bye.